Sagittarius. Welcome to Sag Life Tarot. I am Shannon. I'll be your tour guide on this energy joy ride. Pray with me, won't you? Divine creator, universe, source, energy, vibrations, Holy Spirit, holy angels, guardian angels, ancestors, mother and father, humbly we come before you in gratitude. Thank you. Goodness, love, joy, peace, mercy, long life, happiness, prosperity, and protection from me to you. Sag life. Sag. We in agreement. It is done. Sagittarius. Welcome. <laughs> Sag is Sunday. And I spent all day working on my nails. Y'all won't believe it. My little hand thingy. Uh, the motor went out. So I didn't. It just, it was Sagittarius. Some days we just gotta thank ourselves for being so, I don't know, creative. Mm. It's a day. You know, I didn't do my hair. I didn't do anything today. But my, I spent the whole day. But it's okay. We gonna uh, get, I hope you had a beautiful day. Marvelous, wonderful day. It looked like it was a bit windy outside. I heard the wind blowing real hard and it sound real silent right now. And today is Sunday. I'm not even sure what time it is, y'all. I just know it's late. It's like 9, 9.30 right now. <sighs> Sagittarius, you obviously making plans, preparing for something. You know something coming in. Somebody's good fortune, I'm hearing, could be coming in. You got the two of wands, the knight of wands, king of pentacles, high priestess. You know what? You keep getting that high priestess right in that position, too. So somebody definitely awakening to something new, some new type of way of seeing things, possibly even a, a new way of living. For somebody, your emotions are completely different right now. Somebody is giving secrets or receiving some secrets. You got the Eight of Cups, the Empress. Somebody could be coming in to give you a new understanding of something that's been going on for quite a while now. Mm, then the devil popped out. Something that's been going on for quite a while now. That could have caused you to eight of cups. Walk away. But when you walked away and even... Ooh, 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 judgment in reverse. <laughs> Sag, what we get going on today? Somebody still love. Somebody love this situation. Somebody could not seem to get themselves out of a controlled situation. Somebody could have been trapped for quite a while here. Not knowing how to release themselves from something they've been going through for a long time. <laughs> you see that chapstick right there, Sag? You got to cover them two people up now. They not all the way making, but they have way there. Okay. Right now, somebody is transforming, but not getting a wake up call, not understanding why it is they going through what they going through. I feel like you and somebody about to get pregnant, Lord. I be saying stuff, y'all, and I told some people some stuff. Somebody in your energy about to get pregnant or you about to find out that the person that you have been in a, a relationship with has a baby on the way. I said this to my sister and my sister, I read some cards for her and my sister uh, is like I am. 
tag clipped and burned by ever having kids again. And I said, it's a baby in your energy. I don't know where a baby coming from. And we looking at each other like impossible. And no, she not pregnant, but her son. So it's like a baby for real. And then my youngest daughter pregnant, got another G baby on the way. So somebody has definitely got a baby in their energy. Somebody you are going to be close to. Something that was up. An addiction. A consistent pattern. Somebody was in an in and out pattern. Somebody could have kept walking in and out of your life. So for somebody, somebody got left pregnant. Or somebody didn't see that you was the person that they should have been, but been with or should have had. Uh, kids with or should have went into a situation with and they might have overlooked you but now they reaping they're reaping what they sown somebody here is gonna watch you move on and i hear for somebody and i heard this in another reading somebody standing on business you are not playing you set boundaries here for somebody because somebody just was not right in your energy they kept on doing the walk-in, walk-out energy. Capricorn energy. Um, for somebody, some traveling, you could be leaving behind a job, leaving behind family even, moving to a different place. Somebody been setting plans to walk away, to move on. Even if this is a job position, you could have been already prepared to walk away from something that wasn't serving your highest purpose because you are in your highest energy. Both of these cards, so definitely somebody could have been in a third party relationship and the two females, one of them is pregnant right now. Both of these energies are divine energy. So whoever this person is, is about to be struck with some things that's not going to look good in their life. Somebody is about to go through some type of energy where they really going to be stuck and watching two divine feminine females walk away. Somebody could have thought they had it all, too, had it all the way together, been playing these two people for a minute and not actually realizing what it is they put in they self through. Mm. That is the Astro Matrix Tarot. Y'all know I got the deck right here. Let's see what they saying about this uh, Empress energy. Y'all be done read this whole thing. Like, what are y'all talking about? This two of wands, come out of your comfort zone and explore new territories. The knight of wands, your inner wisdom and light illuminate your path, period. Being passionate and energetic. What do this king of pentacles say? I'm not going to read them all, y'all, as much as I would love to. I ain't going to do that to you. Family is everything for you to ensure uh, prospering and encouragement is happening in your life like it's everything is changing and whoever was against you is about to look and i'm seeing the fool card look real foolish unleash the power of your subconscious follow your intuition the empress now what we have not what we have but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance so somebody is about to start something new that is going to change everything in your life. And, and people are, with this uh, judgment in reverse, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to just have no contact with you. I'm feeling like somebody is cut off and there is no contact with, to you. They are not going to be able to have contact with you. Do not get carried away with material pleasures. These timely pleasures can make you feel powerless and entrap you. And what did I just say about somebody who thought they was taking advantage of people, thinking that they was getting the most out of them, but they really set themselves up for failure here. Mm -hmm. Let's get some. This is witch's wisdom. 
which is something chalice fulfillment oh you walking right into fulfillment Sag. right into look at that eight of cups walking right into fulfillment none of these cups all of the people you could have met could have been empty list empty list for you not empty but like you was filling up other people's cups herbal kitchen alchemist mm. not you got the power to put everything together high priestess energy familiar guardian guardian angels watching over you again somebody is highly protected here you could it could be energies that is standing in the way of negative energies protection energies that's standing in the way of negative energies even coming close to you the moon cycles mm, repeated cycles cycles coming to an ending maybe let's get a animal oracle for sag the eagle mastery you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky let go of the past and soar you are guided by the winds of spirit your wisdom inspires the world i'm telling y'all things are you about to elevate to levels People not going to be able to understand how did this happen? What are you doing, Sag? Somebody here has um, has the ability to speak things into existence. Whatever you speaking is falling into existence right now. Uh, this is the uh, Chakra Oracles discovery. Uh, in the beginning, I started off with secrets. You about to either discover some spiritual secrets, gifts, or talents about yourself, or you about to discover these secrets that's been hidden from you. Uh, somebody uh, could have somebody pregnant here. For somebody, if you see a butterfly, if you see a butterfly, know that you about to find out that somebody is pregnant. Somebody you about to find out. It is going to make a lot of sense to you, like, oh my gosh, type sense perception with a butterfly on the card i'm telling you somebody about to see a, a small black cat if you see a small black cat or a, a black cat period if you see a black cat or a frog you gonna know that protection is right around you somebody is look at look at this how it looked like a different realm to something. How it looked like a portal or something. Somebody is about to walk into a different realm. Somebody has changed up their cycles. Somebody used alchemy, prayers, whatever you've been doing. Whatever you've been doing, you are about to, things are about to show up in your favor. You are about to see things that you didn't see before. Somebody's spiritual gifts and talents are about to be revealed. You don't have a lot of people who is sad. You because somebody about to come into some money. And somebody gonna be sad because they they wanted you for money in the first place in the first place. Impartiality. That's you holding your standing your ground. Standing your ground, but being favorable still to people, still giving people the benefit of the doubt, still helping people, same people that could have hurt you. Somebody coming in with love, somebody coming in to show you a new way of love with this heart here. Forgiveness. What did I just say? You gonna have to forgive some people. What did I say? Here come your soulmate. Somebody about to come in and show you a new way of love. Ooh, Sag, I love it. Let's get a couple of these moonologies. You just gonna take two. Give me two of these moonology. What you wanna say to Sag moonology? It's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. Can't make it up. And I feel like your past was negative. The person in your past was negative. A time for healing. Basalmic moon. And then guess, guess what this is? This is called the healing yourself deck. <laughs> and then a time for healing. And then we just, we grab the 
that's how you know the energy is with you. We're going to take four of these. 15 wild. Mm, something I'm telling you, you about to find out something so dramatic, something so are you serious? And the time is now, and you could be on a path by yourself for a while. So I feel with this red energy, something so powerful. You could be in your divine energy right now. And it could be people seeking you out for your wisdom your understanding, your compassion, your forgiveness. Somebody from the past is about to come back and ask for your forgiveness. It's for somebody. Number 10, pay attention to signs. Ooh, what we just say. I'm showing you these cards because we haven't, I haven't even seen half of these cards. These one of the newest decks that I got. Ooh, what else we got to say, Satch? Pay attention to the signs. And it's an owl on this card. So somebody's wisdom, intuition, the ego, mastery. Come on now. This is somebody's spiritual awakening. Somebody's new cycle. 32 Phoenix rising. We know what that means. We And look at the fire energy. Come through, Satch. Number 27, help from above. What do we say? Your guardian angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, holy angels are watching over you. Let's get some cosmic insights. Cosmic insights for Sagittarius, please. Honeymoon. All right now, honeymoon phase. Somebody about to uh, attend someone's wedding. Somebody could be traveling to attend a wedding. Somebody could be getting married. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let it flow. Somebody could be growing a garden. Somebody about to get a red flower from somebody. Communicate. Compromise. Forgive. And work it out. Forgive. Not you get forgive twice. This is somebody who is about to come back with a story that's going to shock you. But you you going to feel it in your energy like, you know what, it's not even that serious. I forgive you. And, and, and I feel like this could possibly be your soulmate for somebody coming back from the past all sad and lonely after being stuck. Someone else is in the middle trying to sabotage this. I told y'all somebody's energy is trying to be in the way of what you get going on. Let's get four of the soulmate. Funny how soulmate came out. Give me. Okay. This is soulmate manifestation now. Wonderlust. I have so much more that I want to experience until I will be ready to settle down with you. That's for somebody. Friend. We share a connection with a mutual friend or acquaintance. Really? So this might be somebody you know. Somebody you know could end up being your soulmate. Mm. And the person that walk away from you going to be so sad. <laughs> sad. Oh, it's funny. It's funny to me. Because I'm going to tell you what. They don't be knowing how wonderful you are until you're gone. And then when you go on Sagittarius, they don't know how to leave you alone. Alignment. Like a cosmic match made in heaven, we are magically aligned. We fit together so naturally. Oh, so you about to meet a friend of a friend. Mm. That's going to turn into your soul. Relocation. In order for us to be together, one of us have to relocate. So, again, we said somebody was moving. So, somebody definitely moving could possibly be moving for love. Nothing wrong with that, Sagittarius. Listen, listen, my mom had six or seven husbands. I don't remember the number. All I remember is that I used to be like, wow, that's a lot. But as I got older, I realized she never stopped looking for love. Yep, never gave up on love. And then at least she married them all. Eh, Sag, I was married one time. And now I'm 48 and I've been single most of my life. 
We are in the money manifestation and patience. It takes time to build an empire. Your desire for instant results can hinder your ability to make good decisions. All right. That means be patient. Be patient. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. That's what I keep telling myself. You the boss, Sag. You the boss. Gone are the days of answering to anyone else. Your destiny is in your hands now because you the boss. Dependent. You can fully come into your power if you rely on others' financial support. Look at that. A clock. It's time, Sag. It's your time. You know how we've been waiting? Look. It's time to release negativity, a uh, time for healing. Time is everywhere in this time. It's time, Satch. Self-care. If you want to live like royalty, start by treating yourself like royalty. Sad, you know my favorite color is purple. Royalty. Because we royalty, Sag. Oh, I'm going to take a few of these for us. This is the red rose, uh, and it's about love, seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and dating, third party, and temptation. I did not say somebody was in that third party. Addiction, didn't we see the devil? Codependent, obsession, restrictions, possession, or control. Emotional block. What we say it, Sag. What we say it. Oh, look at that. Hammer, sabotage, and rebuild. Persistent. Working on it. Repairing. Wedding rings. Union and marriage. Soul connection. Everlasting love and devotion. What it says. Sagittarius. You heard what it says. Ah, oh, man, I thought I was done with you, Sag. I was going to close out on you, but then look at this here. I forgot these was right here. <gasps> look, I love these. Tea leaf oracles. All right, whip. You got another 22 we love you. you got another 10 minutes, Sag? Let's go in. <laughs> Let's see what tea leaf want to say. And I'm extra with the tea leaf, y'all. We can do as many as we want. Four leaf clover. Great, good fortune. You heard that? Dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Mm -hmm. Tulip, great passion. Ooh, Sagittarius. All your cards talking real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. No, scissors, disappointment, and some affair. Okay. Mountain, major challenge to overcome. Hams, haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Did we not just say that? Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay, I'm gonna do it two more times. Sad, and I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave it be because you know uh, these. This a lot of cards. Camel, preserve and you will, no, persevere and you will overcome problems. I love these tea leaf oracles, I do. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Okay. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. In December, a shark take care of, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Seashore, family matters. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. One more round, sun, happiness and well-being. I, who we got two eyes out here. Somebody gonna be crying about something. And they the both eyes. Psychic ability, trust your intuition. Mm, mm. What we said, somebody gonna try to make you cry so you, so you don't trust your intuition. Candle, you will be shown the way. 
bell announcement. Cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, my contact, y'all. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Firecracker, excitement. Ooh, success. And broom, new home, new attitude. <laughs> Way to end that off, huh? New broom, broom new home, and new attitude. What, bitch? All right, let's do our one card for the enchantment to roll. What do we have? Ooh, King of Blades. Look what I brought. <laughs> Can you see the King of Blades? Look at this card, because it's amazing, right? You see all these wonderful things going on in this card. It's edge. It's so amazing. This is why I read the stories, because it gets so much going on in there, right? Let's see. King of Blades. Okay. Here we go. The story is called called Cut to the Chase. Ooh. Analytical, articulate, fair, ethical, honorable, authoritative, powerful, and objective. The story goes like this. This is a particularly difficult case I'm presenting, yet I feel I can do it justice. Even though some details are abhorrent, I won't be swayed by sentiment and will convey my client's experience calmly and clearly. To some, I may seem distant when offering the facts of the matter in a succulent synopsis, but that's not the whole truth. I'm professional, not indifferent. It's my irrefutable logic and watertight argument that will encourage the right decision of judge and jury, not blister or passion, not bluster or passion. My ability to precise and pare down without emotional embellishment is re renowned. Words are like the knife I hold and may be wielded constructively or destructively. I choose to use their thrust with care. Years of experience plus application and intellectual rigor make me formidable and my impeccable advice is based in sound reason. I won't let my standards drop either at work nor home. I'm as you see me at all times. People know where they stand with me because I'm straight and true, but I hope I'm not so earnest as to be entirely tedious. Perhaps I'm not the most frivolous of men, but I'm still as welcome at a dinner party as I am in court. I can tell a griping story over a drink, and when I tell a tale, there is no in self-indulgent waffle to bore anyone. I pay attention to details because I want to. It's my pastime and well as my profession. To sum up in my own defense, I'm trustworthy because I have right on my side. I make sure of that. Oof. Sounds like a non-negotiable to me, Sagittarius. Sounds like it is saying to us that you have finally stepped into this power for some, finally. For others, you've been here for quite a while where you will not take. The, it, what did it say? King, oh, you so professional and you will tell somebody in a professional way where they can get off. Or get on. Either way, Sagittarius, you have made it up in your mind. It is your time. It is your time. And as long as you make it up in your mind and you let yourself know that all of these things that's coming to you is according to you, your inner, so your outer can appear as you would have it to appear. Sagittarius, because we are so philosophical. I love you guys. You made it this far with me. That means you love me just as much as I love you. So stop, stop. Hit the like and that. Hit that subscribe button. I'm here for you. And we're going to be here and I'll be back with you real soon. Y'all know I enjoy doing this. So I'll be back to you later on this week. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. 
my information in the description box below. I love you guys. And until we see each other again, authentically you, Sagittarius, do you, do you, do you, do you. I love you.